Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. The reason why you subscribe to this channel is because on a daily basis, we break down everything going on in the cryptocurrency space. We make this whole market easy to understand. In today's video, I'm gonna put three different cryptocurrency projects on your radar that the data is showing us these projects are about to go parabolic. I'm gonna play you two different video clips from two different sources that give us further insight on what's going on and where this market is going into the future. We're gonna talk about the Pudgy Penguin NFT craze. We're gonna talk about Sushi versus Uniswap and the infighting going on in decentralized exchanges. We're gonna talk about the Ethereum ecosystem and specifically Ethereum Layer 2 Scaling Solution Polygon and why the whales are buying so much of this. And of course, we're going to start off with the market at large. You know, in order to be bullish on altcoins, I have to be bullish on Bitcoin and the market movers. So we're going to check in to what's going on with the market first. If you appreciate us coming at you on a daily basis, give this video a like, support the channel, and let's get into it. Bitcoin, Bitcoin's on-chain data continues to look impressively strong. Bitcoin user growth looks like it's about to go parabolic. So check out all of Bitcoin's price history and all of Bitcoin's user growth history. What we're seeing right now looks to be like this thing is about to go parabolic. And this is the log chart. I want you to understand this. Parabolic, it's the role of a log chart to make parabolics look like straight lines so we can gauge parabolic trends better. This is parabolic squared. This looks amazing. Perhaps user growth is the number one thing for any network. So incredibly bullish. And that's just one of many bullish on-chain metrics for Bitcoin. When it comes to Bitcoin's supply shock, Bitcoin has continued to flow out of exchanges in August at a rate between 75,000 and 100,000 Bitcoin per month. Let's get some perspective on this. This magnitude of outflows is similar to the period between 2020 and Q1 of 2021, where we saw heavy accumulation, where we saw GBTC arbitrage, and particularly Q4 of 2021, the beginning of this huge rally going into the rally in Q1. So understand this. The accumulation that we're seeing today and for the past several months in Bitcoin is on par with the accumulation we saw in Q4 of 2020, right as Bitcoin was about to enter into a you know, huge rally state going from $10,000 all the way to $65,000. And let's go even further. Who is accumulating this Bitcoin? Well, 76.8% of Bitcoin's money supply is actually held by strong hands. So throughout the asset's speculative history, a large percentage of supply became liquid. That was until March 2020 when this trend began to reverse. A new type of market participant emerged, a Rick Astley, a never going to give you up. So this chart speaks volumes. It's the percentage of Bitcoin that's moved to strong hands, wallets that don't have a history of selling, and what we see really since the bottom in 2018 but definitely since the pandemic bottom you know a year or two later we've just seen so much bitcoin move to strong hands people who are hodling bitcoin again this is incredibly bullish so there's just so many reasons today to be bullish on bitcoin take a look at your screen there's so many things bitcoin is looking strong the market is looking strong and that brings us to cardano Cardano could be ready to retest all-time highs. I believe that recording Cardano is above $2 right now. Yeah, Cardano is back in the green following six long month consolidation period. The big news of the day is all about Cardano. If you are a Cardano believer, if you are an ADA holder, this is the announcement that was made regarding smart contracts earlier today. So that we can have a complete smart contract release ready for people to use our full smart contract toolbox, ready for the Alonzo hard fork. And this is the date that we're aiming at, Monday, September the 12th. Thank you, Nigel. That's a date that many, many people have been looking forward to, uh, to hearing. Of course, 
as much as it's a destination, it's also a beginning. It's the implementation of Pluto smart contracts on Cardano. This is really where we start bringing in the ecosystem and start bringing in the community to start building and deploying their products. But what do smart contracts on Cardano really mean? Let me know in the comments if you think this is a big deal. And let's listen to the experts as they describe why smart contracts on Cardano is such a big deal, what the first dApps who are the first dApps and what are they that will utilize the smart contracts and just what we can expect now that this upgrade is finally going through. Kevin, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this. Smart contracts is a well-known term, but what this really means is it means DEXs, it means new DeFi applications, it means a host of new dApps and, uh, and functionalities coming to Cardano. Perhaps you can talk us through what people can expect to see on day plus one. Yeah, we're expecting some new applications right from the very start, including uh, the ones that our Plutus partners are working on, uh, with more arriving after the hard fork. And of course, this is really a completely new era for Cardano, because with the hard fork, what we're doing is delivering the core smart contract and scripting capability that all these applications can start to build on. Initially, there's going to be a focus on using CLI, as we've done with the blue, white, and purple test nets. Uh, but as we roll out the PAB, that's going to improve the developer experience, making it easier to develop uh, complex dApps uh, with, with both integrated and on-chain components. And all of them are going to be written in a safe and verifiable uh, environment. And the best thing, of course, is that all of this additional functionality, all of the uh, new dApps that people are going to be writing won't require another hard fork. Once you've gone to Alonzo, all the scripting capability is going to be there. People can pick it up, they can use it. So we will be in a situation where people can develop the applications that they want to, the DeFi applications that they want to on Cardano. So there we have it, the 1st of September for hard forking the test net, followed by the 12th of September for the mainnet, bringing on a new era of smart contracts to Cardano. So before we get to our next parabolic projects on my radar that I want to point out to you, let me recommend a hidden gem YouTube channel. Seriously, this guy only has a thousand subscribers. AM Crypto, this is a trading channel. Now, we don't do a lot of trading on this channel. In fact, we don't give out buy or sell signals at all. Yet, I understand there's a portion of our audience who would value a quality, profitable trading YouTube channel. So, I recommend that all traders subscribe to this channel. AM Crypto is a trader that I'm friendly with. I have met him in real life. He is a profitable trader, but nobody knows about him. I'm going to leave a link in the description. I recommend that you subscribe to this guy immediately. He's not going to have 1,000 subscribers for long. So let me show you some examples of his work. This is him from a recent video. Bitcoin is breaking again into our resistance box and it's over $46,000. But will we actually now stay in this box or is there another drop coming? That is something that I want to talk about today. Hi, my name is Alex from Iron Crypto. And you know it already, guys. We jump here straight into the charts. So... AM Crypto is sponsoring this portion of the video. He is a profitable trader. I think more people should subscribe to him. That's why we're doing this. But this is the type of trading that he does on his channel and the type of value he provides. Check this out. So here you can see a strong bounce directly above 44,000 again. And then now this move here straight into our resistance box. So that is something that we wanted to see. And guys, if you remember, I had also mentioned to you, once we are able to stay here in this box, we will get into higher levels here and $50,000 and beyond is inevitable. But there was also um, another technical reason why we were here again moving to the upside. And that's something that I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I saw it too late. Otherwise, I would have sent you a trade signal for it. And that was here, this W pattern. So we could have traded this. So it is a small W pattern, but still. So we have here met the technical target all the way up. So, and um, yeah, let's check how much percent that would have been. So, but I congratulate everyone of you if you were able to spot that. So it was roughly 2%. So if you would have traded with 20X, that would have been a quick 36% gain here that you could have um, 
yeah, banked quite easy. If you remember, I had said, if the price action continues to go here higher and higher, the 50 will follow suit. And here pretty soon, potentially by the end of the month, early September, we will get our golden cross. And this golden cross will push Bitcoin. And now listen, guys, I'm almost 100%, 99.99999% sure that this is gonna happen. Once we get the golden cross, I believe we will see pretty, pretty soon after that, a new all-time high. $46,780 approximately. There is a gap in the volume profile here. So, and this gap will allow us to jump straight up here, all the way up to $48,500 approximately, and to test this resistance that's based here on the volume profile. So if you want to enter a trade, there is your chance, guys. You can open a trade, in my opinion. Now let, let me draw this out for you. So if you are here right now on the sidelines and you're looking for a trade, you can open a trade from 46,780 to 48,400 dollars is a 3.4 percent trade so with 20x leverage it is an over 60 percent gain that you can make here so if you would continue this trade and you don't want to get out at that target at 48 uh, 361 then what i would suggest is that you trail your stop loss up to let's say 47 six hundred dollars around that range and then you can continue to write it up because you will be anyway in a profit so you will at least get out of this trade with 36 percent so he'll do short-term time frames he'll do bigger time frames obviously the goal is just to find profitable trades so he has 1,000 subscribers right now i'm going to leave a link to his youtube channel in the description Let's get this guy up to 5,000 subscribers. Just give this guy a chance, check out a couple of his videos. I like this guy, I've gotten value from him. And with that being said, let's move forward. Matic Polygon is our next parabolic project. Polygon is rallying as whales go on a buying spree. This is verifiable. Matic looks primed for further upside as buy orders pile in. Now, as you know, Matic is a layer two Ethereum scaling solution. Projects would opt to get on the Matic blockchain if they want Ethereum's security, but they want something that's more transaction friendly in regards to speed. And what we're seeing with Matic is undeniable. Weekly growth for Matic is incredible. It is compounding. In the last week alone, Matic averaged 157,000 active users a day. Of course, pictures are worth way more than words, and this is undeniable. So very bullish on layer two for Ethereum. And, and decentralized finance in general, SushiSwap says optimism, which is also an Ethereum layer two or, or a scaling solution. SushiSwap says optimism showed favoritism to Uniswap during Layer 2 launch. SushiSwap CTO says that Uniswap was given preferential treatment due to VC influence. So, of course, you know, SushiSwap and Uniswap are two of the largest decentralized exchanges on Ethereum. Recently, due to Ethereum's scalability issues and high gas fees, both exchanges have been exploring Layer 2 solutions in order to handle more transactions. They both were looking to integrate with optimism. Now, SushiSwap says that Uniswap was shown favoritism because they're backed by so many VCs, and they deny it, of course. But this is what's going on in the decentralized exchange world. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Let me, let me know if you're more bullish on SushiSwap or Uniswap, which is still the brand name. And actually, our final parabolic project today is a non-fungible project. It is Pudgy Penguins. Pudgy Penguins NFT craze takes flight as daily volume tops 11 million in Ethereum. So an Ethereum-based NFT project called Pudgy Penguins is blowing up right now. 
More than 11 million worth of the collection's NFTs have been sold on secondary markets within the last 24 hours alone. So first we had CryptoPunks, then we had Bored Ape Yacht Club. Now we have Pudgy Penguins, and you know that's why I put them on the list of projects that could go parabolic if they're going to follow in the trends of you know the other two. So Pudgy Penguins, hardly breaking the mold for Ethereum-based NFT sets. There's 888 of them in total, each depicting a different cartoonish penguin assembled from an array of randomized traits. Some of hats, gloves, mohawks, bowl cuts, t-shirts, scarves. It's similar to those mentioned above, except with a generally more wholesome allure. But just like CryptoPunks, just like the apes, they're selling like hotcakes. These are pudgy penguins. This is what's going on in the NFT space. I wanted to let you know what's going on with Ethereum in general, whether we're talking about NFTs, DeFi, stable coins, almost 40,000 burned, and it's been less than a week. And that is it for me today, my friends. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments. See you tomorrow.